What's going on everyone, my name is Coda Morton, and welcome back to Electronics Episode 3. In this episode, we are going to talk a little bit about electronic circuits. Now, in the last tutorial, we talked about direct current, or DC current, and we said that DC current comes most often from batteries. So here is my battery, it's a really bad drawing, but if you go out and you look at a battery right now, most likely you're going to see a little minus sign on one end of the battery, and a plus sign on the other end of the battery. Now, the minus sign basically indicates that that side of the battery, that piece of metal towards the end of the battery, is called the negative terminal. And the plus sign says that that side is the positive terminal of the battery. And a terminal is basically where the electricity will flow from in a battery. So here's my bad picture of a battery. This end here is the negative terminal. This end here is the positive terminal. So in order to create a circuit or create something that this battery will power, we have to connect the negative and positive terminals to whatever we want to power. So I'm gonna draw a wire from the negative terminal here. Here's a wire. And then I'm just gonna draw a wire there. And then I'm also going to draw a wire from the positive terminal and draw a wire down here. Now, say I want to power a light bulb. So here's my really bad drawing of a light bulb. Yeah, that's a light bulb. I'll write it underneath, light. All right, so I want this light bulb to light up and the battery is going to power that. Now, right now, this is not going to work. The light bulb is not going to light up. And that is because the light bulb only has one wire connected to it. It's connected to the negative terminal by a wire. And this doesn't work because in order for a circuit to work off of a battery, the negative terminal must have some type of path to the positive terminal. It needs to connect to the positive terminal in order to make electricity or to make the actual light bulb turn on. This is called an open circuit. And it's called an open circuit because there is a huge gap in between here part of the wire isn't connected, and open circuits do not work. Basically, there's no power going through these wires at all. So, in order to make this light bulb light up and to make this circuit work, what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to connect the negative terminal to the positive terminal somehow. And to do that, we're just going to connect the positive terminal wire to the light bulb as well and this will effectively light up the light bulb. Because if we take a look, electricity will flow from this negative terminal through the wire here, it'll throw, flow through it, it'll go through the light bulb, and then it's going to continue on this wire up to the positive terminal, and that is called a closed circuit. It's going to work because the two terminals are connected by this wire and light bulb path, therefore the light bulb will light up. So what I really wanted you guys to get today was what a closed circuit is, a closed circuit versus an open circuit. So an open circuit has a gap in it and it will not work. A closed circuit basically means both of the terminals of the battery are connected in some type of way and it will work, it's powered. So this was a pretty simple video. Basically, we learned about the two terminals of the battery closed and open circuits. Now we must move on to a bit more of an advanced topic and that's the actual electricity itself. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in the next episode.